guys, Sam from Unreal Madness here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up bullet ballistics for destructible materials. Um, so what I mean by that is a good reference point is, say, Rainbow Six Siege, um, the destructible mesh, obviously, when you shoot through a wall, you want exactly where the bullet hits where there should be a hole. And that's pretty much what we're going to do. I'm just going to give you the basic outline of this and let you refine it to your own touches. Um, quite simple to do, it's just a video lengthy. Um, so what we want to do is we want to bring out a wall, a wall here. So I'm just going to bring out, so i got my wall here, 500 by 500. And I'm going to create a destructible mesh out of that. So we have our destructible mesh here. Now, for the cell count, we need it to be quite high because the higher it is, the more chance that we hit, get a reasonable size hole. I mean, if we have it set to two, and it's just as soon as we hit, it's still going to blow up one half of it. Um, I recommend, say, 2,000. Um, I have quite an old uh, GPU, it's, uh, 660 Ti, and it can handle it, so I'm pretty sure that it, you'd be able to handle it as well. Um, okay, I don't care. And what we want to do is we want to fracture it just to make sure it will properly function. And there we go. So a few more little bits we need to do to this. Um, down here in the frac wait, oops, in destructible settings, I'll go down to the bottom, and we want to go into where is it? I lost it. Be right here. Ah, uh, here, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we want to go into destructible settings, and when we want to go on flags, uh, we want to accumulate damage. So give that a tick, and we want to click on world support. So this will allow it to break up into chunks, and this will uh, prevent the object from uh, falling over because uh, when you hit a destructible mesh, it will fall over and well, cause physics for that one. Uh, we need to change. Um, support depth to one and I think that's all we need to do for this one so if we just save that I uh, don't care don't care don't care don't care why is it didn't want to save okay sorry about that guys for some reason I just didn't want to save so I have it saved right now so what you want to do is you want to bring out your destructible mesh um, this is a little thick to be honest so I'm just going to shorten that Change it to one, that'd be a wall. So now that is all set up. So right now we do not need to touch any more of that. And the only thing we need to do is change the blueprint for the first person uh, projectile. And I'm in the wrong content. So right now, Gonna be really weird okay so i'm currently in my first person projectile right now um what you would see um when you uh, first start this this stuff is just for another project i'm working on but what you will see is just the event hit or maybe something else so if, if there is something else connected to it just disconnect it all it's just all blank bring it up here and you want to drag off and you want to cast it to a destructible actor now, what this does, this picks out every destructible actor, so it's not all, so you don't always have to set it up for each individual object. So once you cast that out, you want to connect object to other, and then you want to drag out um, as destructible ob uh, destructible actor and do a get destructible component, and then you want to drag off from here and you want to type in apply radius damage. So the difference between applied damage and radius damage is radius damage allows so you can do a specific damage to a, spe a spe to a specific point on the mesh. And that's what we're really looking for right now. So you just want to connect up hurt origin to hit location. So that's where we want to hurt the mesh. Uh, you want to connect up destructible component to target. Now the base damage we don't particularly care because we can set up high we don't need to modify that any different so I just set mine to 200 radius damage I set it to 0 0.1 um, and you want to do that because you want the round to affect that specific piece you don't want it to hit it and all of a sudden you see like four pieces come off not unless you're doing some sort of explosion 
So I just leave that uh, at 0.1, and you want to set the impulse strength to 100. Now, after you basically done that, all you have to do is save it, come out of the essay, and I'll just bring out a bunch of these. now so say if, yeah you're coming along you see an enemy you can just nail them all the way through same with this one here knock them out knock them out shoot through the wall and obviously you can see bullets can go so through guys, it works create bullet fine. ballistics for walls hope you enjoyed and if you have a request for a video uh, put it in the description below because honestly I'm sat here and I have no idea what to actually uh, talk about or do or show tutorials on. So, um, yeah, so until next time, guys.